Hey, a pleasure to meet everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Jeff Bork, and this is going to be the first edition of NHL Trade Deadline Recap as we recap the Anaheim Ducks moves. This is going to go in alphabetical order down the line from team to team. This is going to be the Ducks video, so please continue to subscribe down below or on the easy-to-use widget at the end to keep us growing to 215 or more by the end of March to keep getting all the videos as you recap all the different trades here over the course of the deadline. The Ducks got started early as they were able to get a very solid top four level defenseman, excuse me, and Drew Hellison, who's out of BC, uh, and a second round pick, so essentially two second round picks for Josh Manson. They then on March 19th uh, were able to trade Nick Delorier's for a third round pick, and they were able to bring in a third round pick, so you got in a second and third round pick by <clears throat> March 19th, both for 2023, by the way, and Drew Hellison, who's a very good developing top four level defenseman for trading Josh Manson and Nick Delorier's by March 19th. And then later on March 19th, only about a half hour after the Delorier trade was made, they trade Hampus Lindholm and veteran AHL defenseman Cody Curon uh, for 2022 first round pick, 2023 second round pick, or 2024 second round pick, and also Jorho Vakanainen, and John Moore, who's a veteran that was buried in the Bruins system, that might actually get some playing time with the Ducks. Obviously, he has a lot of NHL experience, but uh, when it came to the Bruins, was stuck down with Providence. So it'll be interesting to see how they use him there. Jorho Vaca 9 and definitely has the potential to be a fourth defenseman with room to grow into even more than that um, as well. So they're bringing in very good assets, and that's why the Ducks, uh, I think, have to get a great grade for this deadline because to top it off with the cherry on top, um, they were able to <clears throat> then get assets for Ricard Raquel of already ready players. Because this Ducks team is obviously not in rebuild mode. They're in a team that had already ascended big time this year, started showing that they're probably next year really going to be in the competition and even make the playoffs potentially. And if not, they're definitely going to make it the following year, in my opinion. That they're getting guys like Aston, Ant, uh, Zach Ant, Aston Reese, excuse me, that's very good in both ends of the ice, that has some jam to his play and can add some offense. And then Dominic Simone is more of a bottom six guy that can bring some speed and offense and that yada yada to your team. So I think it's going to be very smart what the Ducks were able to do here in the end. And it's going to work out a lot for them. And then they also brought in, while already having a very good um, goalie prospect in Dostal, who also scored this year, they brought in Callie Klang, who's a very solid goaltender prospect in itself. Um, and obviously... You can never have enough good goaltending, so he's a solid prospect, like I said, in himself. So it's good and smart to bring him in if you're the Anaheim Ducks, and they already have one of the best in the league in Gibson, and then Anthony Stolarz has been good since being in Anaheim. So they've, they've kind of checked all the boxes of being a team that knows they're ready to strike in the next two years and really be that big-time playoff contender for years to come, having the great Zegrises of the world, obviously, um, <clears throat> different players have played significantly better this year, like the Troy Terry's of the world. And Sonny Milano has obviously been a different player since being in Ducks Nation. So I think it all factors into the fact that this team is setting themselves up for great success for the future, where I just pulled it up now. This year they have two first-round picks, two second-round picks. Next year they have three second-round picks and two third-round picks. So they're definitely stockpiling to be able to bring in more assets as they know this team is right on the cusp just not fully there yet, and these are smart moves for a team that's right on the cusp for the next year or the following year to be a top contender for years to come, to get the Aston Reese's of the world, Jesus. Simone, Cowie Klang, and a second-round pick for Raquel, plus for Hoppus, Lindholm, and Curon, you got a first, second, well, two seconds, Bakaninen and more, and then Delorier's, they got a third, four, and then again, Manson was Hellison and a second, so all in all, A plus for the Ducks, uh, because they were able to, four very good assets, yes, but also bring in very good assets, so it's a very good balancing act, as they're a team that's looking to continue to grow and bring in young guys that will continue to make them, like I said, successful for years to come, and Vakaninen from the left side and Hellison from the right side, I'm really going to help you there. And then John Moore, at the very least, is a very good veteran for the goals that might be able to get some opportunities uh, with the Anaheim Ducks as well. So it's going to be interesting. And they also claimed uh, Jerry Mayhew from the Philadelphia Flyers. So we'll see if how he fits into their equation as well um, as a guy that's been around the block that can kind of be good for younger players 
that have also been around the block, like 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 the Simones of the world, for example, that took him a little bit to get going at the NHL level. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a quick video on the Ducks trade deadline, as you definitely got to give them an A-plus. Yes, they traded great assets in Raquel, Lindholm, and Delorier Manson, but they got very good trades back, where we'll see as we go through not as many teams did get as good assets back for their guys when they were more sellers, obviously, and the Ducks really took advantage of the sellers market and really became almost essentially future buyers because these guys in Vaca 9 and, and Hellison are really good players for potentially even next year and going onward, that that's really going to help you there. And then Cali Klang might be one of your goalies in the future if you eventually move on from Gibson, which I don't know if that'll ever happen, but then you have Dostal and you, have, you still got... Him. So either way, it leaves options, um, and the Ducks are really setting themselves up for the future. Very smart deadline by them. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please can subscribe down below or above these views. We're to keep us growing to 215 or more by the end of March. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far.